Today we're going to be seeing how Gordon Ramsay makes his Thai papaya salad with Uncle Roger. And look what I found in my closet today. My old polo shirt. It still fits after 10 years. It's a little wrinkled, but that's how it is. In any case, guys, hopefully you enjoy this video. And if you do, be sure to check out the rest of my videos that I have on my YouTube channel, plus all my other recipes, which I actually do have a lot of other recipes. And be sure to check out my culinary course, which I will leave in the description down below. So before we get going, be sure to give this video a like and a share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Now, let's get started. Remember, Gordon, no more uncle title, because he messed up ramen so bad. Today, mm. he's making his version of green papaya salad. It's not traditional Thai papaya salad, so we go mm. easy on him. It does give an amazing Wait, kick just to one? the paste. In. No, no, just, just one yeah. chili. Gordon, how can just use one chili? Hiya. Sum tam is one of Uncle Roger's favorite dish. It's the only salad worth eating. Kale salad can fuck off. So this is Uncle Roger's favorite salad. Interesting. Let me know down below, guys, what your favorite salad is in the comments. Is it Caesar salad, Cobb salad? Is it this salad? Let me know. First off, these are a little dried shrimp. You can dry shrimp, correct? They smell almost sort of... But that's a bit best. much, Gordon. For this salad, inspired by my travels across Thailand, mm. I'm starting by making a wonderfully spicy paste. A little sp I like how he dressed up as orange. But Gordon, just because you dress like me, don't mean I'm gonna give you bonus point. I didn't actually plan for this. So today, all of us are actually wearing the same color. And look who else is orange. Say hi, little Simba. Huh? Say hi. Woo. You've gotten a lot bigger since the last video. All of us are the same color today. All of us are in orange. <laughs> a little salt in there. Salt good? No, no, hiya. Gordon, pounding is in and out, not round and round. <laughs> You're not pounding, you rimming. I understand what Uncle Roger is saying by this, but uh, you can still crush the ingredients in a pestle and mortar by, you know, going around with it instead of smashing it. If you do smash it, especially with round things like black pepper, they can fly out of the pestle and mortar and then, <laughs> well, you have a mess. Just break them up. Look at the pestle and mortar. It's too new. It like, it never mm. been pound before. Just like Uncle Roger. <sighs> Auntie Esther still haven't replied. I'm sorry to say it, Uncle Roger, but I think the boat's already sailed with that one. Bird's eye chili. But eye chili good? Powerful, but wow. It does give an amazing kick to the paste. Mm. Wait, just one? In. No, no, just just one yeah. chili. Gordon, how can just use one chili? Hiya. For Thai papaya salad, at least use five to ten chili. Just one chili? What in the Jamie Oliver is this? Yeah, yeah! Well, I'm kind of with Gordon on this, but then again, it depends on the amount that you're going to be using for the salad. If you're going to be using everything to make the salad, or if you're going to be using only a portion of this. Because keep in mind, when Jamie made his red Thai curry, his green Thai curry, what else? A few of his other curries, he only used like one or two green chilies or a few other chilies. That's it. But if you're not used to chilies or spiciness in general, you may not want to put a lot in there, especially the first time. Because again, it not only burns the first time, but it burns the second time coming out. And trust me, if you're not used to that, it's not fun. Gordon, when you're making fire rice, you got two walk. You walk fuckboy. You have to be chilly fuckboy also. <laughs> A couple of tablespoons of brown caster sugar. Sugar, okay. Uh, Wait, that too much? That softens the blow with a chilli. Wait, and what? Then... Soft, soften what? That softens the blow with a chilli. Soft, soften blow of what? It's just one chilli. Hiya, Gordon. Niece and nephew, if you need to soften blow of one chilli, just give up. You're not gonna succeed in life. You are too weak. Right, now, you need to keep in mind, with chilies, there is a chemical called capstacin. Now this chemical is what is responsible for the heat in chilies and all the peppers. Now this chemical is produced in the membrane. It can also be on the seeds. This is why a lot of people take out the seeds because they can be hot with the oils. But if it's going to be too hot to begin with, you may want to just change the chili that you're using as Uncle Roger is saying, because you know, it's, it's just gonna hurt. You may not want to torture yourself. A little bit of hot water into this. Tamarind paste. Tamarind, correct? It's a really tart but sweet paste. Good. One tablespoon in. No, no, you just put the tamarind water in. Don't put whole tamarind in. There's gonna be too much fiber in your salad dressing. Just watch. 
Fish sauce. Fish sauce good? No. It's got that Squid brand for you! you. Smell no, slightly salty. This is the only type of fish sauce that I use in the house, and I have to admit, it is delicious. I actually go through uh, quite a few bottles per year. I don't use it all the time, but anytime that I'm making curries or any Asian ingredients, I use it. And I use quite a bit too because it's delicious. It stinks, but it's tasty. Two tablespoons in. Bring that together and give it a really good mix. More rimming. Ugh, that sound. Some lime juice. Lime juice, okay. Another touch of sort of tartness. The paste is nice and thick and fragrant. No. The heat. Oh, uh, no. Papaya salad dressing not supposed to look like that. Look at this photo. This proper Thai papaya mm. salad. See the dressing, the liquid pooling at bottom. Looks so appetizing. But what is this Gordon? What is this? Now, if there are any Thai chefs watching, let me know exactly what Gordon is doing wrong. But to me, it seems like Gordon has actually made this into more of a paste instead of a sauce because it looks like with the photo that Uncle Roger used that the sauce is actually quite liquidy. And well, of course, Gordon is making a thick paste. Now just keep in mind, Gordon is trained in French cuisine as well as British cuisine. So our methods of making sauces and purees and everything may not be the exact methods that you use in your own local cuisine. Green papaya. Good papaya, mm -hmm. of course. Give it a little peel. You can find green papaya in local Asian shops and bigger supermarkets. And as it doesn't wilt like more delicate veg... Gordon, the way you're peeling papaya, you're wasting so much papaya. Just use peelers, save money. We're not rich like you, Gordon. Do you think papaya grow on tree? I mean, do you think money grow on tree? Okay, if Uncle Roger got that much money, I'm gonna waste papaya also. Actually, Uncle Roger surprised Gordon even peeling his own papaya. Gordon, with that much money, you can hire little papaya slave, follow you around, peel papaya for you. Uncle Roger's right. If you don't want to waste a lot of the flesh with any of these fruits or veggies, you can use a potato peeler to actually peel the vegetable. In any case, Gordon is doing the fast method. If you wanna peel a vegetable super quickly without dirtying another piece of equipment, you can use a knife. The only problem is with that, whether you're peeling watermelon, cantaloupe, or any other type of fruit or vegetable, you can waste a lot of product. I'm gonna grate it. Grater. Hmm. No, that's what I want. See, if you use grater, the strip not gonna be long enough. Mm. You want longer strip for papaya salad. More satisfying to eat. In pretentious French cooking term, we say julienne. Or if you hardcore Thai auntie, you can whack the knife on papaya like this to create thin strip. But Gordon can't do this. He not hardcore Thai auntie. Right, well, I wouldn't recommend holding the papaya in your hand and taking a knife and just whacking it in your hand because there is a possibility of the knife going clear through or missing it and going into your hand. Yeah, this is a big no-no. You want to be careful with this. But in any case, if you want to get longer strips of the papaya and you're not very like knife savvy, you don't have a lot of knife experience, then you can use what's called a mandolin. Although you have to be very careful with a mandolin because it will literally cut your skin off if you're not careful. Thin slithers. Next, a nice, rich, Sweet banana shallot. Hmm, the shallot peeling technique, perfection. But completely wrong ingredient, hiya. No shallot in papaya salad. I think Gordon used shallot just to show off. Rich, sweet banana shallot. Who creates shallot? Gordon, of course. Nice. This kitchen too organized. Look at all the spice in the background there. No Asian kitchen as nice as this. Papaya salad, just treat food. We prepare on side of road. Sometimes we even got hot Thai auntie pounding papaya salad on street. Like this video here. Where is that? Uncle Roger need to go. That way Uncle Roger always say, Thailand got best street food. Look at this. Just have to make sure she actually woman. Sorry children. No, one video is PG with Uncle Roger. Honestly. Some carrot. Carrot good? Carrot gives it. Oh, God, then you have peeler. <laughs> okay. Why do you use it on papaya? Yes, I agree with Uncle Roger. If you use it for the carrot, why not with the papaya? If your papaya salad looked like coleslaw, you fucked up. 
that and mix it. <laughs> Finish that off with Thai basil. Thai basil wrong. And fresh coriander. Basil coriander is, uh, wrong also. You can get Thai basil in good supermarkets and independent Asian stores, but normal basil works well too. No, don't put normal basil in. Oh no, that's not pesto. Thai basil and fresh coriander. <sighs> thai basil wrong also. Just because the ingredient got the word Thai in it, don't mean it belong in every Thai dish. That's actually a good thing to remember. Just because it has the word in it, just because you have it, doesn't mean you need to use it. Next, mm. prepare the crunchy topping. But remember, this golden version of papaya salad. So I guess it's okay. Now we've seen a lot of Uncle Roger's videos and I don't think he's ever said that with Jamie, has he? Peanut correct? Good. Chop the nuts. But it gives a really nice crunch. In they go. Nice. Roll them around the pan. Good. It's off. Gordon, don't give shit about peanut allergy people. <laughs> now for the exciting part. I'm going to dress the salad. The dressing look too thick, too thick. <sighs> that very Western way of making salad, dressing and the vegetable separate. Now, not to say that Uncle Roger is wrong with this, but it depends really on the salad that you're making. But Uncle Roger is right. The dressing is such a thick puree. It's like super thick. Look at it. I mean, you can see that it's actually holding its shape. This is not a proper dressing, even in the West, uh, for a normal dressing or a vinaigrette. It wouldn't be like this. It would be a lot more liquidy. You need to be able to work with it. It's not something that you can roll up into a ball and then throw at somebody like a snowball. See? And then he makes it all in. A nice general sprinkling. Roasted nuts. Mm, peanut, okay. One. But usually peanut is part of papaya salad, not just topping. Delicious, very fragrant, very robust. Green papaya salad. So easy to make and guaranteed not to go limp. A perfect mm -hmm. party not to go limp and with What why are you using that kind of word? Why your salad go limp? Uncle Roger <laughs> want my salad to be limp. I don't want salad with boner. Well if this was a salad that had lettuce, you could actually say that you don't want it to wilt. If you do actually add a vinaigrette or dressing a little too early before you serve, you can wilt the lettuce. So this is a big deal. So if you are going to be serving like a lettuce salad, just make sure to add the dressing a la minute, meaning at the last minute, or allow the guests to actually add the dressing themselves. And with such incredible colors, textures, and bold, exciting flavors. What bold, exciting flavor? You see all the chili there? That the chili that belong in the salad. Hiya, where got bold flavor? Your producer go out all the way to buy this Thai chili for you, Gordon, and then you don't use it. But I guess this golden interpretation of Thai papaya salad. So overall, okay. If it traditional, this papaya salad, missing snake bean, missing tomato, mm. and missing the little raw salted crab that Uncle Roger liked. Tomato? Really? Interesting. I wouldn't think that tomato is that common to use considering that tomato is more an introduced ingredient. Well, maybe centuries ago, so now it's probably more common. But in any case, it's not from Asia, it's from the Americas. Guess Gordon, this is your version. So I guess it's okay. Maybe add some tomato in there. For traditional som tam, we just pound everything in pestle and mortar. Everything. Mm. We don't separate the dressing from the papaya from the vegetable. That's a very white thing to do. Now comparing this to on actually how to make papaya salad, it doesn't look almost anything like it. Let me know your thoughts down below on how Gordon did and what you would do to improve Gordon's recipe or what you would change. But don't forget to hit the like button, share, and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you have uh, enjoyed this video. Or at least hit the like button for little Simba. Hmm? Simba, what do you think? You wanna go play? It's playtime, no? I've been on here too long. Okay, in any case guys, take care. I'll see you again soon. And well, say bye bye little Simba. Bye. He's going to sleep. What a baby. Que sube